I'll give you an example of a pretty simple one. Yeah, let's so, go through an example because I think people are probably like, oh, wait a minute, this is speaking to me. So now I want, I want everybody to pay attention now. Here it comes. Okay, so I'll give you an example. There was a lady about 40 years old and she came to see me um and she's a radio sh she's a radio show host you know they had radio shows now now you've got podcast hosts but she's right. a health, health show and uh she was doing a health show and she came to me and she said you know i was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome after lunch every day i get all this bloating and gas and i run to the bathroom and i just don't feel good and i've been suffering like this for years and you know i don't want to take the drugs they give me because you know they have side effects and that's not really addressing the cause so I evaluated her, I took her pulse, which we can talk about later. That's an Ayurvedic way of gaining additional information about an individual and their state of balance. Anyway, and I said, well, you have a vata imbalance, we say. So you have gas bloating and what are you eating? I asked for lunch and she said, oh, well, I eat really healthy. I have a big salad and it's only fresh vegetables. It's all organic and blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, actually for your type, a lot of raw vegetables can aggravate your uh, digestion. Right. So even though it seems really great, raw diet and everything for you, for you, you need cooked vegetables for lunch. And you should put these little spices on like cumin and fennel, which help your digestion and calm things down and some nice oils, like a good olive oil. So she said, okay, I'll do it. And then she came back for her next visit. And I said, well, how's it going? She said, I did just what you said. I started having a cooked lunch and she said within a week, I had no symptoms, wow. I had the symptoms since. And then I followed up with her years later and she said, no, it went away. It was, it really wasn't IBS. It was a Vata imbalance, like your Ayurveda said. And I just needed to match the, the food to my, my needs. So, you know, a lot of people, and I, I would imagine and again, I practice Western medicine, but I'm very open to everything. You know, I, I myself have had my share of health problems and I do acupuncture. I've done, gone to a chiropractor. I, you know, my significant other, she has trained in integrative medicine. So she's always on me about try this and try that. She's family medicine trained, but she did additional training uh, in Arizona with uh, Andrew, Dr. Wow, Andrew Wow. So she's very much in touch with a lot of these things. And it's been helpful for me, not only for my own health, but sharing with my patients. But a, you know, a patient like what you said has probably gone to their regular doctor. They've had CAT scans, ultrasounds, every blood work, and then they are just left with, well, there's nothing wrong with you. And that's got to drive people berserk. I mean, it drive me nuts. So I think it's important you know, one of the things I do with my patients is journaling. I think a 14 day journal tells you a lot about a lot. And I, I think one of the problems, and I'm curious as to what you think is just with the internet and with Google and with all of these things, there's so much information. It's overwhelming for people. So they get confused naturally. I, I mean, how do you address, how do you tell somebody, you know, that's just overwhelming themselves, you know, their own doing, but how do you get them past that and, and sort of weave through those weeds, so to speak? Well, again, I'm kind of lucky because by the time people decide they're going to come and see me, they've decided they want to do what I tell them to do because usually right. they're uh, pulling their hair out. So I, I've had enough of this. I've just, I can't figure out what's right for me. And I've tried all these things. So they're really relieved to just have me take the pulse, have me tell them, well, this is what I find from Ayurveda and let's do some you know, tests, see if you're low in minerals or, or vitamins and let's right. look at the microbiome. Maybe, you're, maybe you have some really bad bacteria or yeast or something and we'll address that. So then they get a program that's exactly precisely like tailored to their needs. It's customized. And then um, like I think you and most doctors um, who practice this kind of medicine, if the patient actually does what you tell them, you know, our favorite <laughs> patient is the one who's a doctor. I'll do whatever you tell me. Right. I love that. You know, compliance, loves, compliance, yeah. compliance. Because then they actually 90% of the time they get better. 